Here is how to make hoses and cables in Blender. Hoses and cables look cool, and it's actually not too hard to make them. First, you'll need a cool model to add some cool hoses to. Import a curve with Shift plus A, Curve, and then Bezier. That's an artsy term for bendy line. This will import a line that has vertices on it that you can manipulate with anchor points. Anchor points adjust the direction and magnitude of how your line will curve. Go into edit mode and start moving the vertices and anchor points around. You can extrude a new point by pressing E as you need them. Another thing you can do instead of extruding new points is set the start and end of your curve. Then with your vertices selected, right click and press subdivide. This will add vertices between the two points that you selected that you can move around. Once you roughly have the shape you like, go back to object mode and go into the Object Data Properties tab. Then in Geometry, under Bevel, increase the depth and resolution until it looks right. Make sure to check the Fill End Caps box as well. Without doing that, your hose will have open ends and not be able to print. You can go back in edit mode to fine tune, add points, and make sure you like how everything is looking. Not too bad. But what if you want a hose that has a little more detail? That's not too bad either. First, make whatever pattern you want repeated along the hose. For simplicity's sake, we're just going to use this sphere that I flattened. But this could be as complicated as you want. Make sure to snap your new object to the curve you made. You can do this by selecting your object, then the curve, right-clicking, snap, and then snap selection to active. If you don't, you'll have really strange results in the next few steps. Your object and the curve's origins have to be the same. You could go one step further by parenting the objects together by selecting your object, then the curve, pressing Ctrl plus P, and then Parent, Keep, Transform. That way, if you move your curve around, you don't have to also worry about moving your object. We're going to add two modifiers to the new object, an Array and a Curve modifier. In the Array modifier, make the relative offset 0 on the X and Y factors and 1 on the Z. This will change how spaced out the objects will be. Then in the Curve modifier, set the Curve object to the curve you made earlier. Increase the fixed count so your objects continue along the length of your curve, and you're good. You can scale your objects, edit them, and whatever else you gotta do. I've seen some people also set the fit type to curve in the array modifier, but for some reason that doesn't work for me. If anyone has any tips on that, I'd love to hear it. If your object isn't bending around the curve correctly, you may need to add more vertices and edges. For example, this cylinder would have trouble deforming around something, so I added a bunch of loop cuts with Ctrl plus R, And now it should be able to deform and morph without looking weird. You can also still go back in and edit your curve, which is really useful. There you go! Some simple hoses and cables to customize your minis. There are also a lot of hose making add-ons that you can buy to make your life easier. Either way, whatever works for you. Alright, thanks for watching! If you like what I do and want to support me further, consider joining my Patreon, using affiliate links, or buying merch. It greatly motivates me to keep making tutorials and videos. If you enjoyed, feel free to like and subscribe. Thank you! Alright, bye bye